By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to play pickleball, specifically doubles. So the next time you go on court, you won't be confused. And make sure you stick around till the end because I'm gonna show you some real gameplay for you to learn from. Let's go. Come on. Ah! Pickleball is a racket or paddle sport. It's a combination of tennis, table tennis, and badminton. The paddle resembles more of a ping pong paddle, but larger than it does a tennis or badminton racket. And the ball you use is called a pickleball, which resembles a wiffle ball. If you're familiar with the tennis court, this may surprise you, but you can actually fit four pickleball courts on one tennis court. A pickleball court is 44 feet by 20 feet and it's divided into three zones. The right box, the left box, and the kitchen, aka the non-volley zone. The kitchen is the area on each side of the court, which extends seven feet from the net. The game is played to 11 points and you must win by two. Now that you know a bit more about the game, let's take a high level look at the three fundamental rules of the game. Number one, the serve rule. Here's the gist. Both your feet must be behind the baseline while serving. One foot can be hovering over the line, but one foot must always be on the ground when you make contact with the ball. So you can't jump in the air and serve. You must serve underhand. There's a couple nuanced points to this. The paddle face must make contact with the ball below your wrist and also below your waist. But the gist is you got to serve underhand. And listen, you can also hit a drop serve and all those nuanced rules then go out the window. Just know you can only drop the ball. You can't throw it down to make it bounce higher. You have to just drop it, that's fine. Now on the serve, the ball must go diagonally across the net. Also, the ball must land beyond the kitchen line. If it lands on the kitchen line, it's a fault. If it hits any other line beyond the kitchen, you're okay. Fundamental rule number two, the two bounce rule. Now, if you're from tennis, you may be familiar with the serve and volley, where a strong server serves and rushes to the net to put the ball away. You can't do that in pickleball. In pickleball, after the serve, each team must let the ball bounce once on their side before they can hit the ball out of the air. Or in other words, hit a volley. This is the reason you see the serving team set up with two players back at the baseline and the receiving team set up with one player back and one player up. Because in pickleball, you wanna be at the net as much as possible because that's where you're most dangerous. Now, after the ball has bounced once on your side, you can now legally hit the ball out of the air as long as you're behind the kitchen line. Now, let's talk about the third fundamental rule. It's the kitchen rules or the non-volley zone rules. And let's up because these are the rules that most confuse people when they first start playing. So as I said earlier, another name for the kitchen is the non-volley zone because you can't hit the ball out of the air when you're standing in the kitchen, which makes sense because if you could, the game would look totally different. So let's talk about the three main kitchen rules. If you hit the ball out of the air, your feet can't touch the kitchen line or be inside the kitchen line. It can hover, that's fine. It just can't be inside the line or touch that line. Number two, if you hit a ball out of the air and your momentum carries you into the kitchen, even if the point is quote over, that's a fault. So what do you do? Stay out or yell help from your partner to pull you out before you fall in. That's okay. Number three, if the ball bounces in the kitchen, you can step in there all day and get that ball. The actual rule says, quote, a player may enter the non-volley zone before or after returning any ball that bounces. So you don't have to wait for the ball to bounce before you step in. Often a misconception. You can can anticipate the ball bouncing and get in there early to hit that ball. Let's go one step further. You could technically stand in the kitchen line the whole match, but that wouldn't be smart because if they hit it at you, you wouldn't be able to take it out of the air because you're in the kitchen. And if it hits you, it's their point. So after stepping in to get a ball, make sure you get out of there. Get both feet reestablished behind the kitchen line immediately. So if they hit the ball back at you, you're able to volley it legally. Now let's talk about five ways that you can win a rally or an exchange between you and your opponent. If the opponent hits the ball out of bounds, you win the rally. If your opponent hits the ball into the net, you win the rally. If your opponent lets the ball bounce twice on their side, you win the rally. If your opponent commits a kitchen violation, you win the rally. If your opponent gets hit by the ball, you win the rally. Now, let's talk about how the game flow and the scoring system works. Very simply, you can only score points on the board when your team is serving. This is crucial. The first person on your team serves, and if they win the point, that same person switches sides to the other box and continues to be the server. If they don't win the point, the serve switches to their partner. Because remember, both players on a team get the opportunity to 
serve and score points in one possession. What do I mean by possession? A possession is any time you or your partner are serving and have a chance to win points. When the second server on your team serves and you don't win the point, the possession ends and the serve switches over to the other team, which results in a side out. And a side out just means the possession is over. Both players on that team had their chance to serve and score points, but they both lost on their serve. Now the other team starts their possession, AKA they become the serving team where both players get to serve and score points. Now let's get specific about how scoring works. In doubles pickleball, the score is comprised of three numbers. The first number is how many points your team has scored. The second number represents how many points your opponent's team has scored. And what makes doubles pickleball unique and often confusing for beginners is there's a third number. That number is either a one or a two, which represents the serving order after a team achieves a side out. Now, whoever is on the right box when the side out occurs will be the first server, also called the one. When the one loses on their serve, the serve switches over to their partner, AKA the two. When the two loses on their serve, the possession ends and the serve switches over to the other team, a side out. Now, hear me on this. When the side out happens, whichever player ended their previous possession on the right box becomes the one for this possession. It's worth noting one player might be the one at one time in the game and the two another time in the game. It's not always the same person. Again, it's the person who ended the previous possession at the right box who now becomes the one for that next possession. So let's see some real gameplay. It's gonna be me, Kyle, and my teammate Wendy, K and W versus Tyler and JT, that's T and J. The game always starts at zero, zero, two. Zero is the amount of points we have, zero is the amount of points they have, and two means I'm the second server, which basically just means we only have one chance at the beginning of the game to serve and score points. It's the exception. The founders of the game did it to minimize the advantage of the starting team on their serve. So let's go ahead and start. Zero, zero, two. Go. Yeah, okay, so we just scored. Wendy and I scored. We're playing Tyler and JT. So I'm gonna switch over to the other side. Now the score is one, zero, two. There we go. Ah, ball went into the net. So anytime a possession ends, the ball's gonna go over to the other side. That's called a side out. So right now, they have two chances to serve and score. JT is serving, the score is zero, one, one. Here we go. Okay, now the score is still zero, one, but this time that third number is gonna be a two. Zero, one, two. Yeah. All right, so now they just won the point. So it's one, one, two. Now Tyler's gonna switch over to the other side. One, one, two. Here we go. Cool. Nice. All right, so we just got a side out. So now the serve comes back to us. Wendy is on the right box right now. And anytime there's a side out, the person who's at the right box will be the first server. So right now the score is one, one, one. Here we go. Got it. We lost that exchange. Ball comes to me. One, one, two. Oh, <laughs> yes. All right, so Wendy and I changed. All right, I love that. Pickleball is so fun. All right. All right, now it's two, one, two. Just as a reminder, the two, that third number two means I'm the second server. Here we go, two, one, two. Got it? Ah. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, now it's gonna be, Wendy and I are gonna switch again. Okay, now I'm moving to the left side. This is a reminder, if you score a point and you're the one serving, you can only score when you're serving, you will go to the other side. Now it's three, one, two. Let's assume for a second that it's now, we fast forwarded, now it's 10, nine, two. It's match point. Let's see if we can put it away. Here we go. Ah, come on, camera one, ah, camera two, ah, other cameras. <laughs> 10, nine, two. Go, Wendy. Let it go. 
Yes! Pickleball! Oh, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Pickleball! <laughs> I love pickleball! There's millions of people playing pickleball around the world, and there's probably millions who still don't understand the rules. So if this video helped you, please take the link below and just send it to somebody. So when you go to the courts with your friends, you won't have to spend 30 to 40 minutes trying to explain the rules. They'll already have some understanding of how to play. And if you're trying to figure out what are the rules for pickleball singles, click this video right here.